Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net. You should see uh, the link somewhere where this video is playing. How do I play PC games on a Mac? Well, you could either get the Mac version of the game, if it is available, and yes, there are many games available for Mac OS X, or you, of course, could run some kind of let's say virtual machine software, whether it's VirtualBox, uh, which is okay, open source, it's free, doesn't cost you anything at least, in that sense, free. Uh, I would say that would be my recommended option if you don't want to spend anything. Uh, but uh, there's also Crossover, which is the nastiest piece of software I've ever had the displeasure of using, so I don't know if I'd recommend that as much. Uh, VMware uh, is also a, a nice a virtualization uh, platform uh, for those of you uh, that are power users. I also have coupons for uh, VMware Fusion and Workstation depending on your uh, operating system, but if it's PC games on a Mac, this would specifically be uh, uh, the VMware uh, Fusion option. Uh, save you money there. Uh, there's also Parallels uh, for the Mac, and uh, in there you could run Windows, and they have uh, different optimizations running within it. And it's, it's kind of like... Uh, VMware Fusion and Parallels are kind of neck and neck in terms of performance. Parallels kind of edges out VMware Fusion at this point in time. Um, there's a few features in Parallels that I happen to like a little more uh, than VMware at this uh, right now. At, at this current version, uh, you have the ability to remote in to your virtual machines uh, from your iPad or your iPhone, which I find kind of nice. So. Uh, Parallels or VMware Fusion would be my recommendation if you're looking to run a PC game within a window on uh, the Mac. But I also wouldn't recommend doing that uh, because a lot of the games that you're likely wanting to play really need as much hardware as you could throw at them. And while you could probably squeak by uh, inside a virtual machine, uh, my full-on recommendation would actually be to use anybody. Anybody? I'm surprised no one's mentioned it. Hang on, I'm checking. Oh wait, someone did. The Mac guy uh, mentioned it right, uh, right there, as well as Gone Four Fourteen. I'm looking back at chat there. Boot Camp. Now that software that runs on a Mac that essentially turns it into a PC. I mean, you could go out and buy a PC. That's fine. But if you already have a Mac, which is also a PC, you could run Windows as if you were running it on a PC. That's essentially what you're doing not emulation, not a virtual machine, you are running Windows. In fact, so many people have said it's the best Windows experience they've ever had is on a Mac using Boot Camp. Because, see, unlike a lot of the OEMs, uh, when you install Windows on a Mac, you don't get all the extra crap that is bundled in by OEMs, all the extra drivers and useless software that you'd normally get that bogs down Windows. You don't get any of that. Uh, when you install uh, Windows in a, a boot camp. And VMware Fusion and Parallels also have the ability to at help you access that boot camp partition on your Mac uh, from within Mac OS X. So essentially, you set up a boot camp partition, Windows, and I'd recommend Windows 7 at this point in time. And you could run it as if you're playing in a PC. You could do it on a, a MacBook Pro, an Air, any kind of any Mac that's uh, you know on an Intel platform. iMac certainly. Uh, and then it, when you want to jump back into Mac OS X, you can still access that very same boot camp partition from within either Parallels or VMware Fusion. Uh, so my recommendation is just use boot camp. It, you can already do that now, uh, and if you're kind of on the fence of do I want to switch from using Windows to a Mac, my recommendation has been for you know the longest time uh, is to set up a boot camp partition on a Mac, you know, if assuming you get a Mac, and then getting either VMware Fusion or Parallels and accessing that boot camp partition from within a virtual machine. But when you want a full-on Windows experience, no Mac other than the hardware, uh, then you could use uh, you can use that booting into w Windows as a turning that Mac effectively into a uh, Windows PC as if it was any other PC. And so many people just don't understand it. It's so basic. It's so basic. It's awesome. It really is. Uh, and I, I can't explain it any more clearly than that. Actually, I probably could, but I'm not going to. I can, however, save you money on VMware Fusion or any VMware product as well as Parallels. Uh, really, I can save you money on any software. Do not buy software anywhere without asking me first. 
because I can save you money or I can find you a free alternative if you want to go that route. And I did mention VirtualBox in the beginning, although sometimes you get what you pay for. Either way, uh, that's my answer. I don't know if anybody else has any different answer, but you're uh, welcome to uh, post a comment and your own thoughts on the Virtualization Bootcamp and beyond.